I wanted to get this done. Uh, the Lord was speaking to me. I feel like that, uh, you know, he wanted me to get this out there. Um, first of all, uh, I'm not any type of ordained minister. I haven't been to seminary. Um, I've read the Bible more than a few times. Um, I feel like that I have a, a decent prayer life, a, a decent uh, relationship with my Father God, Jesus Christ, um, who is the, uh, the only door to the Father in heaven. Um, this video today is going to be about um, uh, the Mandela Effect, um, simulated reality, other dimensions. Um, I feel like this is a very relevant topic in the day and age that we live in. Um, I guess uh, the best way to start this would be to talk about um, this reality. Um, it's also going to have to do with uh, flat earth. So we're covering all many, many controversial and uh, uh, relevant topics to the time that we live in. Personally, uh, I'm going to be giving a lot of, of my own personal opinions here. Hopefully uh, my thought process is led by uh, Christ the Father. And um, uh, you know, I can give you guys you know, the Lord can speak through me and give give someone out there uh, a word of wisdom, a word of encouragement, uh, a word of peace. Um, this plane of reality that we live on called Earth, um, I believe is the place between heaven and hell. We as human beings live here in this matrix, in this reality, in this construct, so to speak. Um, I believe that we were put here by the Father God himself uh, after the creation was spoken into existence in the beginning was the word and the word was God uh, words spoken in this existence are very powerful uh, pr probably uh, well probably the most powerful thing in existence are the words that we speak I believe that I believe words spoken in this existence uh, are very, very powerful, uh, perhaps the most powerful thing in creation. Uh, through words, uh, empires are tore down or built up. Uh, by their words, kings are chosen, um, although we know that it is God who raises up and uh, brings down kingdoms. All men are used of God, as the word says. Um, right now, I know that um, Bank of America has recently said that there's a 50% chance that we live in the matrix, that we live in a simulated reality. That whether or not I believe that, I believe that we do live in a matrix. Uh, I do believe that our reality is less real than the reality of the unseen, the spiritual world. Uh, we tend to think as the spiritual as this wispy, smoky uh, thing that you can't touch. Obviously, we can't see it. Uh, as far as the definition of the word spiritual in the Bible, it's things that are unseen. And we walk by spirit, not by sight. Um, and, and I believe that's because what we see here with our human eyes in what uh, science has told us is a holographic universe, uh, that we are all merely holographs uh, or holograms, so to speak, uh, created through the mechanism of electricity, water, and earth but regardless of what the material construct of this universe is uh, we are part of it we interact within it um, so therefore all that we do and all that we say uh, ripples into creation uh, I believe that that's why we are uh, quarantined on this planet so to speak uh, separated from God the Father separated from heaven uh, obviously, uh, I, I believe that hell is uh, below our feet. I think that uh, we live on the plane between heaven and hell. And, uh, you know, as we go up, there are higher life forms. Uh, you know, I believe that you would start with the clouds. Uh, now, of course, this is going to get into, you know, maybe a little metaphysical. And I'm sure I'll get all sorts of emails of this and that. And, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, bear with me. These are my thought processes here. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt or you can take it... Uh, take it to the Father and, uh, you know, see what he tells you. See what your spirit inside speaks to you and says, uh, what the Holy Spirit says. Um, I believe as we go up, uh, the life forms are higher, beginning with uh, the clouds. You know, uh, with, are the clouds alive? I don't know. Um, it, it seems that uh, clouds are spoken of all throughout the Bible. 
Christ himself was received up into a cloud. Uh, when he returns, he will return riding on the clouds. Uh, when God himself, before Christ, came down upon uh, the mountain, upon Mount Sinai, um, he came with thick black clouds encompassing him about. Um, when Christ was crucified, uh, the sky was darkened with clouds, I'm assuming. Um, you know, so clouds, uh, regardless of what they are, I think they're much more than, than we're taught. Uh, they are uh, constructed of water, so, so we uh, understand, uh, according to our understanding. But uh, God himself said, I am the living water. Uh, when, when God spoke into creation, uh, existence, uh, the only thing in existence at the time, as far as I could tell, was water. Uh, you know, his spirit hovered over the face of the deep. And look up that word, the deep, and then that's uh, the sea, the oceans, the water. Um, he says that uh, living water flows from his throne. Uh, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll move beyond that. Uh, we're just going to, uh, you know, get past the clouds, so to speak. And if you go higher, then you will come to what next? Uh, the stars, which, uh, you know, read your Bibles and it will tell you that, um, you know, as the Bible speaks of, of stars, uh, they are spoken of as if they were alive, as if they were, uh, I've heard the word used demigods, so to speak, uh, you know, not necessarily, you know, any type of gods, but maybe according to our own understanding, you know, we would call them, uh, you know, demigods. Uh, the hosts of heaven, I know that they are, they are referred to in the Bible. Um, the, the, the Satan himself said that he would, he would ascend above the clouds, uh, higher than the stars, that he would make himself like the most high. So, uh, you know, as we move on and we go beyond the clouds, uh, then we reach the stars then beyond the stars, uh, in my opinion, would be um, the darkness and the blackness and the void, so to speak, uh, the space between the heavens and heaven, uh, you know, God's heaven and, and, and uh, you know, the, the most high. He said that I will, I will ascend above the stars and that I will be like the most high. And I believe, you know, once we get into the darkness and the void of space, we come into powers, principalities, and rulers of darkness and wickedness in this world. Um, so, you know, this is this is how I see things, guys. Um, you know, and then uh, actually, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get into the Mandela effect or too much on the flat Earth or anything like that today. But um, you know, I just want you guys to uh, rest assured and take uh, peace and comfort in the fact that regardless of this construct, whether or not uh, we are living in a matrix. Uh, I heard that there are billionaires who are pooling their money to, uh, quote, you know, to find a way out of the matrix. And uh, who knows what, what, what might happen to those guys. I believe that they'll probably end up finding their way out of reality and into the matrix where, you know, they will end up probably trapped. Uh, these are my own, you know, this is my own humanity speaking here. So don't take this as a biblical fact or, you know, that I'm trying to say that this is fact. This is my own personal opinion. Just uh, take comfort in the fact that, you know, God has made everything. God is the creator, the uh, master programmer, so to speak. He has created this matrix, this reality. And we all know that, uh, you know, well, science tells us uh, uh, there are more spaces. There's more space in your body than there are actual particles or atoms. Um, so, you know, I mean, and, and at, at, the, at the center of these atoms are, it is a force that holds them together, that holds all things together. Uh, I mean, by all rights, according to our understanding, my hand should be able to pass right through the steering wheel, but I can't. But Christ, once he was glorified and he returned to earth and received his glorified body, he passed right through walls. Now, that's, that, now people would say, uh, well, that's because, you know, he became uh, spiritual or he became, you know, his body could pass through walls. No, Christ could walk through walls because he's more real than the wall. The wall is 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 space uh the only thing true and 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 real about the wall is the electrical impulse and look it up but um you know i think uh the bottom line is you know uh, just like the television uh you know whenever you remember the old televisions a lot of you won't but the old televisions uh well we're told that this we're all a result of the big bang which everything started at a singularity a single pinpoint in space uh, and where there was infinite power and infinite uh, density. And uh, from that point came all creation, like the Big Bang. 
Well, remember the old televisions? It just kind of reminds me of that. Remember when you would, uh, you know, turn them off and uh, it, it, would, it would go down to a pinpoint and then that pinpoint would disappear, sort of like the Big Bang in reverse. Uh, once you uh, unplug the electricity, so to speak, uh, you know, all creation is revealed for what it actually is, uh, or all this, this uh, uh, material construct, so to speak, disappears without the electrical impulse, which I believe electricity is, is from the Father. I believe that he is uh, not electricity, but I think that electricity is something that emanates from God himself. Uh, as he says in the Bible, I am the light of the world. Uh, and we know, we all know that light, fire, electricity are all basically lightning. You know, they're all one and the same. Uh, light cannot be seen. We know that, um, you know, light cannot be seen. Um, but light reveals all things that are. Uh, which, you know, sounds uh, like an attribute of God. As God, you know, when God touches... Uh, of someone or something that, that that person is is seen for what they truly are and, and and the bible says that all things will come to light all things will be revealed well we can't see light we can only see what light touches uh we look at the sun and we say well that's the source of all light possibly probably um but i know in the beginning before the sun was created uh it says that god created the light and that he separated the light from the darkness and the light he called the day and the darkness was called the night so uh i mean that makes you question a few things right there that probably opens up a whole can of worms for a lot of you guys um but he also says i am the light of the world and many times in the bible uh christ himself is is even called the sun s-u-n so uh you know i believe that that has something to do with you know when 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 uh when Christ, I mean, when uh, God himself put on bodily form, stepped down from his invisible form, because it says no man has ever seen God at any time. Uh, man cannot see God. It says that he is invisible, but he made himself visible when he clothed himself in humanity, the humanity of Jesus Christ. He came down and, and uh, uh, you know, we know that uh, science tells us again that uh, light can be both a wave and a particle, uh, which means a solid and an invisible. So, uh, you know, that's God again revealed. Um, God, you know, came down in, into a quote particle form, so to speak, in Christ Jesus. So uh, I'm just going to leave it there, guys. I'm almost at the gym. I'm hoping that this has helped, you know, somebody out there. Uh, if, if so, I'd love to hear your feedback. Shoot me an email, uh, you know, like these videos. Um, there's more to come, guys. This is my first video, and I'm just doing what I feel led by the Lord to do. Uh, and hopefully, you know, I can help and encourage someone. And uh, remember, there's only one way to the Father. That's through the door of Jesus Christ, His Son. Peace, love, and blessings to all of you.